Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to make this toothbrush. Um, we're going to be using a few things we haven't used before, like the intersect tool, um, where we take two bodies and where they intersect we create a new body. So follow along and see how you go. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert a canvas here. So insert canvas that I saved here on my computer, toothbrush. I'm going to put it in on the top plane and drag it out a little bit. <coughs> We're going to then calibrate it. So you right click calibrate. Then you select two points on the drawing. And I measured my toothbrush, it is 195 millimeters. So that'll give us that. Now we're going to trace these, um, create a sketch on the top plane. For this bottom one, I'm just going to create a construction line here. So I'm going to split this down the middle so that I can mirror it later on. So line tool, see it snaps to center there. And all the way past. Now what we can do is we can go to spline. Now straight line will go up right up into the curves here a little bit. And then we'll select our spline tool. Just work this curve a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect, this is just kind of your interpretation of the toothbrush. Now I want to just touch this line up a little bit. A little bit tricky, you can mess up your drawing if you play too much, but that'll do. Now I'm going to mirror this. Create mirror, or you can just click over there. We'll select the lines we want to mirror. And the mirror line will be our construction line there. You can see it's, it's not quite right on this side. I don't think it's this is quite straight, perhaps. Anyway, so we've got an outline there. That'll do for our purposes. Now we're going to do this top one, and uh, you'll see I'll copy that top one, put it on another plane, and then we'll intersect them, and that will be our body. So let's go straight line to there. Then we can go change to... Uh, Now I want to, I want this to be horizontal, um, you'll see why later, because uh, I'm going to create a plane there on top of that, so I want that to be completely straight. Um, we'll go back into spline tool, and you can fast forward through all of this. Then we'll go to line tool and draw a line to there. Now I will go create arc, three point arc between these two. There we go. So I mean that that that, that part you can just kind of do however. It's not super important. I'm gonna select this one, copy it, finish sketch. So now I'm gonna create a 
sketch on this back plane here and you'll see why now create sketch on this back plane and go to control V it's going to paste the drawing we did earlier doesn't have to be perfect you can see it's still in line with it there we're going to get it more or less in line with that So there we go. Now if we look at it, we've got these two drawings over there. Finish sketch. Now if I have to extrude this up, it's going to intersect there. This really doesn't matter how far you do it. And then I'm going to just turn this body off. Select this one. And I'm going to extrude this in symmetric, both sides. Again, doesn't really matter how far out, and it's a new body. So now you'll see we've got these two bodies that are intersecting, and it does look a bit ridiculous. That's not what our toothbrush is going to look like. What you can do now is use this tool, combine, and we're going to say intersect. So we'll select the target body, and we'll select the other body, and OK. So what it's done for us now, let's turn off this canvas, is it's combined the two bodies and where they've been cut through it's made a new, a completely new uh, body. So now I've only got one body, if I selected keep tools, for instance over here if I said keep tools, I would have kept all the cutting bits that we used. So I'm just going to leave it like this and there we go, we've got our shape. So what I want to do now is maybe just add a fillet on here. About two millimeters. Command. Select a couple more lines. It's not bad. You see, the noise that you select everything. Um, that's that's suitable. Let's see what else. Let's see now it's giving me error, but that's fine. I will leave it like that. So there we've got the the handle and the head. Um, I'm going to go back into the back plane because I need to create a sketch now on this surface there. So this is why I wanted this to be horizontal and straight with no curves. So I could use this as a surface to create a sketch on. So I'm going to just do some construction lines here. See this line? Actually, let me project it. So now I'm going to do a construction line running across here. See it snaps to center there. And now we'll have one circle here, uh, one above, one below, and then I think I'll go across four, and then in each circle we'll have the bristles. So, center diameter circle, let's just deselect construction, and I'd say five millimeters. And then in each of these we need to have a whole bunch of bristles. So, select circle again. Actually, let me draw a construction line over here, going up. And then I'll draw my bristles on this. Deselect construction. 0.5. Seems good. Move it up there. Now I'll go create a rectangular pattern. Select the circle. Now, four, that's a bit close. Okay. So now each one of these 
we will pattern as well. Select the pattern. We select them individually. Select the center point. Um, let's make that 20. Yes, that's good. Now we just repeat that step each time for each of these. Um, 15. Yeah, I think 15 is good. Ten, and then probably five for this last one. Seems to be going down in increments of ten, or increments of five. Sorry. So there, we've got our uh, our little bristles and things. So now we can either um, pattern these now. Or pattern them once we've extruded them. So I'm gonna choose to pattern them once I've extruded them. So now I'm just gonna extrude all of these. I'm gonna select each each one individually. Make sure it's a join operation. If it's a new body, it's gonna probably throw up an error or freeze my computer because it's creating like a hundred new bodies. So I tried just now to drag and select all of them but my computer wasn't wasn't it enjoying that type of selection it kept on selecting and deselecting so maybe I got an issue with my fusion but there we go we eventually got it we're going to be dragging this up get to this top view How tall should these be? Sixteen looks good. Let's join. Like I said, we could do new body, but then it's going to create a new body for each of those. So, okay, that is one done. Now I'm going to go create pattern, rectangular pattern, and it's a feature. I'll select this feature and the axis. Oh, we just need a straight line. It's either perpendicular or in the direction we are pulling it. We got four, five will be too much, I think. Ah, five looks good. I'm gonna just make this 21.5. Okay. Now let's let it process. Okay, so there's that. Now again, I'll go to pattern, rectangular pattern, again, feature. We're gonna select this last feature as well as this one. Axes. That axis, and we'll drag this up. My computer struggling to compute this a little bit. Now we're going to go two axis. We got this in two. Bring that in a bit. I think my computer is really struggling to compute this, but it's all right. So that's two at five millimeters. Um, we could go symmetric, and then it should do them both. There we go. So now let's just see when I click OK if it's going to freeze my whole computer. It seems to have figured it out. 
So there we have a toothbrush. Maybe not the best toothbrush, but just an idea on how we can use the pattern tool and the combine tool to get that intersect feature where we, or we can have two completely different extrudes and where they intersect is where we're keeping the, the body. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. Get in touch if you need any assistance. My email is in the description. It's uh, fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Until next time, bye.